welcome back to black tea it's your girl ebony so erica minute is apologizing to a black woman chrissy mahone after she lied on this woman and accused her of breaking into her home and also offered a bounty ten thousand dollars for anyone who had information on this black woman now for those of you guys who don't know back in may both erica minute and safari let people know that their home was broken into now while safari did post a man that goes by charlie famous it does seem that erica minna decided to attack this black woman chrissy mahone not only calling her a stripper but also saying that this woman needed to be smarter if she was going to be a thief now this is what erica minna had to say back in may so this stripper christy mahone is now allegedly wearing my jewelry and has all my purses she has involvement with one of the robbers one being charlie famous girl be smart and give up all my belongings if anyone knows her please contact me i got a cash reward on her as well ten thousand in cash to anyone who can lead me to the arrest of this woman as well now the woman did respond to erica and she let her know that this was not true and that she would be suing erica for defamation of character and erica basically brushed it off well earlier today erica issued an apology to this woman saying that she is sorry and then the woman responded and erica jumped into the Sheru comments laughing talk about a mess now here is erica's apology last may after our home was burglarized and some of my property was stolen i was informed by a number of sources that an individual named chrissy mahone had been in possession of my stolen property under circumstances that suggested she knew it was stolen and i posted statements to that effect on my instagram account i have since learned the information i received about her was not accurate and i take this opportunity to retract my earlier assertions i no longer have any reason to believe that christy mahone was ever in possession of a property that she knew to be stolen from me or that she had anything to do with this directly or indirectly with that robbery of our home i apologize now the woman did take to her instagram and she said girl bye then we saw erica minna jump into the shade room comments and she put the laughing emoji after she saw that Chrissy, the woman she accused, saying girl bye. Now several people are reacting to this situation as well. One Instagram user saying this, girl bye, she should sue you for everything. Y'all need to stop going to the internet with this ish too. Now look at the evidence she has on you, talking about some sources. Now I would sue. I would sue for defamation if I was her now. I can't read that ish. Definitely getting sued. Nope, I would file a lawsuit. See you in court, Erica. At least she's woman enough to apologize apologize a running mouth just need one set of listening ears sue her how embarrassing why she used that font and make it that small there are people dying courtney voice this is what happens when you act too quick to expose somebody without facts and for likes i'd sue her fast and this is why you take things to the police and not social media and i agree this is definitely a case of defamation i would expect that there is some type of retraction letter that's been sent to erica Mena, and this is the reason why she's offering this retraction i really do believe that there's probably already lawyers involved because usually when you see a retraction it is usually required that the person do the retraction on the same platform that they made the defaming statement so let's see what happens from here let me know what you guys think about this down below how do you feel about erica minna apologizing for lying on someone for breaking into her home you guys know i look forward to reading your comments down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a big thumbs up and we'll talk very soon. Bye guys.